Okay, I don't have any motors running right now. I have my Tesla coil running. Let's just show it. it turns on. Now I have it connected differently. I connected my Tesla coil in a loop right through here, down to here, going straight to the plates on both sides. But here's the thing. I'm not getting a whole lot of light up anywhere. And it's directly connected, so the motors are stopped and I have a full connection straight into those plates. Nothing going on. Now watch, I'm going to plug in my high voltage. Now my high voltage now is connected to this outside now. So it's now run on entire frame. So we have static volts on the outside and we have our Tesla coil hooked to the plates inside. So just to show you, I went ahead and hooked up two flybacks. That way we can make sure we get a static volt out of it. So, let's go ahead and run the high voltage now, and let's see what we get. And there it is. There's a pulse going on in here. You can see it. And you can see my frame is now putting off the energy. About what I expect out of a high voltage coil right there. But it's the interaction here. And I get the same interaction on the bottom. So, I'm not getting anything unless my two fields are interconnected. So, this right here is not giving me a whole lot of light up at all. Now my Tesla coil has plenty of light up. That's crazy. So I'll unplug the static volts again. And we're just going to see real quick if it shuts off. Let's still go when we have a charge. Let's see. And now the, the gas is no longer excited. Now my Tesla coil, it's still on. But I hear nothing. I, I don't know what to say. It's just the two fields have to be interconnected completely. Let's go ahead and we'll try it again. We'll go back on the high voltage. Okay, we'll just shut this in here. We'll see what it does. I don't think it'll pop on right away, but it should pop on after a few minutes. Oh, it goes on right away. So, in our gravity flyer, what I'm noticing is the two fields are interconnected in this. And there's no two ways of getting around it. It doesn't work one without the other, even if you reversed it. Now... I blew out my top motor again, I blew out my bottom motor driver because when this thing's spinning, it was setting off my TV and everything in my room. So it definitely puts out a much, much higher field when this thing's spinning and it shoots it all over the place. It, it was taking my tool chest over here, my little tool thing right here. This whole thing became electrically charged, and that's what blew out all my motors and everything. So, as you can see, it's still lit up with the field. So, if we're going to throw an electric field, it kind of asks the question, which way do we want to do it? Because an electrostatic field in paper will lift paper. I don't know if it lifts metal, but it definitely lifts paper. So... And we could go back to the old time experiments uh, with a lot of the early inventors of static electricity, I'll tell you that. 
So I think the outside has to be charged that way. What happens? It starts to blow out all your components of your computer and everything. So that right there tells me that Alexi might have just had it opposite on this. Because it, that's exactly what I was getting. Is my computer flipping out, my phone won't work, nothing. So it's definitely got an interconnection here. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys in your research uh, and figuring things out. It's definitely helping in mine.